really shouldn't miss Dumbo Circus by and from town to town Now here's the part that's too good to be true Dumbo Circus, Dumbo Circus Is coming to visit you With thrills and chills and daring do And lots of great adventures too There will be music and magic I hope you can come Nothing like the great outdoor. The grass, the flowers. Oh, but what's this? Why, this is spectacular, magnificent, a real junkyard. Oh, look at all those wonderful things. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. A broken bicycle chain, a brimless hat, a jug with a big hole in the bottom. <laughs> oh, these are the things I love. A bottle cap, a broken key, and here's a bench, all nailed. A rubber tire full of holes, a dented rusty pail. One old shoe, one left-handed glove. These are a few of the things that I love. A roller skate, a broken bass, a drum that's no good for drumming. I love to stroll here and there amid the broken plumbing. These are the things my dreams are made of. A moldy couch with broken springs. Suddenly, my heart has wings. These are the things I love. Though others have thrown them away, and all of them have known better days. I hold them dear, although they may seem worthless to some. I'm fond of each and every scrap of old aluminum. These are the things my dreams are made of. A broken bell that never rings, a patched a pair of water wings. These are the things I love. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. There's even more wonderful junk over there. <laughs> yeah. Now, where's my magic wand? I'm sure I left it right around here somewhere. Uh, hey, well, knock my knees. What the heck is that? Why, look at that. It's too much to hope for. It's, it's just, just what, what I've, I've always wanted. wanted. Well, fancy meeting you here, Sebastian. What do you got there? I have something I've always wanted, my very own concertina. Well, my, my, that's a coincidence, because I have my very own concertina here, too. Well, that's all very well and good, but I'm sure that my concertina is much nicer than yours. Oh, yeah? But I'll bet I can play my concertina better than you can. Well, well, we'll just see about that, won't we? You can say that again as soon as I find the rest of my concertina. Excuse me, Barnaby, but I believe you're holding my concertina. Huh? Oh, no, Sebastian. I'm just holding on to my concertina, the one I found, you know. It's my concertina, Barnaby. I found it first. Well, that's funny, because I'm pretty sure I found it first. Well, it should be mine, because I found this wonderful junkyard. Uh, I think you've got that wrong, Sebastian. It it should be mine because I'm so musical. So, I guess you're not giving it to me, huh? Sure, Barnaby. I'll give it to you just as soon as the sun turns blue and the moon turns red. Gee, that could take a long 
in time. Well, till then, I, I guess we'll each have half a concertina. But half a concertina is better than none. <laughs> oh! I love to play my concertina. I love to sing a happy song. Now that I've got a concertina, I'll play and sing and sing and play upon my concertina all day long. I knew a man from far across the sea. He always had a squeeze box on his knee. He played the most delightful melody. And this is what he used to sing to me. Oh, I love to play my concertina. I love to sing a happy song. Now that I've got a concertina, I'll play and sing and sing and play upon my concertina all day long. When I was but a tiny little tot, I played the concertina quite a lot. To parties and dances it was brought, but I wouldn't play duets no matter what. Oh, I love to play my concertina. I love to sing a happy song. Now that I've got a concertina, I'll play and sing and sing and play upon my concertina all day long. You know, Sebastian, if I just had that doggone wand of mine, I could just make you disappear. But since I don't, I'd better get back and try to find it. Oh! Hey! What's going on here? I'm leaving. And I guess you are too, Sebastian. <laughs> Come on, Sebastian. You're holding me up. Barnaby, you're a menace on the road. Oh, yeah? Well, you go first, then. Gladly. Just follow me. <laughs> Barnaby, I can feel you breathing down my neck. Well, you said to follow you. Tell you what, why don't we walk together? Well, sure, Sebastian. Side by side. Huh. I hate walking side by side. Huh. Boy, could I use some help. Help! Help! Did someone say help? Oh, it's just you. Well, yes, I could use some help hanging these costumes up to dry. Would you mind very much? No, I mean, uh, yes. I mean, uh, uh sure, I'll help. Sure, Lily. around here. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's a funny thing, though, Dumbo. It never stays quiet around the circus for very long. Oops. I guess you're right, Lionel. Well, this isn't so bad, is it? No, Barnaby. I'm growing rather attached to you. Uh, oh, there's nothing like a ride in the country. <laughs> Barnaby! Sebastian! Coming through! Uh-oh! A concertina! Catch you later! Gee, we almost caught you now! <laughs> I'll go that way! Hey! Whoa. Barnaby, you went the wrong way! Really? Well, I could have sworn that I went the right way, and you went the wrong way. Well, we're not going anywhere this way. We better switch. Okay, by me. That's better. I'll say, 
Maybe now we can get back to the circus. Hey! Let's try that again, Sebastian. Okay, and this time, I hope you get it right. Almost done, Dumbo. Like they always say, many paws make work easy. That's right. And so do two paws in one trunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yikes! What's that? I don't know, but it's coming this way. Barnaby, Sebastian, I'm so glad to see you two doing things together. Would you mind getting us out of here? <laughs> here, fellas. Oh, boy, free at last. Well, you'll never guess what I found. Let me take a wild guess. You found a concertina. Gee, Lionel, you're a pretty smart lion. A concertina? That's neat. Can you play it? What? You're asking me the super dog of songs? Hey, if I can play it? Uh, well, of course I can play it, but not without me. You see, only half of the concertina belongs to Barnaby. The other half belongs to yours truly. Well, I'd like to hear you both play. We might be able to use it for the show today. I'll be happy to play my very favorite song. And I'll be only too happy to play my very favorite song. Here goes. <laughs> On second thought, I don't think we'll use it for the show. Well, it would sound a lot better if I could just play my song all by myself. Yeah, well, if you were to play my song, I know Dumbo would have liked it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Barnaby, Sebastian, please be careful with the concertina. If you take good care of it, you can play beautiful music. I don't think they could play beautiful music on that concert. What they did? I'm taking my concertina over here. Well, fine and dandy, Sebastian. You can do that after I take my concertina over there. See you later, Barnaby. Later will be too soon for me, Sebastian. Ooh, I can't look. I wish I couldn't hear. This way. Sorry, Sebastian. That way. Well, at last I have my own concertina. Yeah, I can play anything I want now, wherever I want to play it. Well, at least they're happy. Yeah, but I have a funny feeling they won't be happy for long. Once I get you all pretty again, we're going to make beautiful music together. Hello, Sebastian. What's that contraption? Why, this is my very own concertina. Well, my very own half a concertina. Perfect for playing half a song, eh, mate? I can play whatever I want. Listen. Just what I like, Sebastian. A nice, quiet song. What's the matter with this thing? Oh, no. I bet Barnaby's half works and mine doesn't. I used to play my concertina. I used to sing a happy song. Now that he's got my concertina, he'll play and sing and sing and play upon my concertina all day long. <laughs> Gee, I never knew I looked so good with a concertina before. Good eye, mate. You're looking snappy today. Oh, I'm feeling snappy too, Dink. How do you like my new concertina? Well, it looks very much like Sebastian's concertina. Or should I say his half of a concertina? Well, I don't need his half. 
just listen to me play my very first song. Oh, I used to play my concertina. I used to sing a happy song. Now that he's got my concertina, he'll play and sing and sing and play upon my concertina all day long. Hmm. Gee, something about that song just doesn't sound right. Well, I believe it's your concertina, Mike. It's, um, well, it's uh, not playing any music. It's not? Oh, no. I'll bet Sebastian got the half that works. See, Dumbo? Super duper glue. I know I could make that concertina as good as new again. That's a nice idea, Lionel. But I don't think that will solve the problem unless Barnaby and Sebastian learn to take turns. That's a good point, big guy. Uh, why don't you just tell him? I think I will, Lionel. That's just what I'll do. I wonder why Dumbo asked us to bring him both concertina halves. I can't imagine. They're no good anymore. I'm sorry you can't play your concertina anymore. Oh, I loved that concertina. So did I. It made me such a happy cat. Gee, when I saw you, all it seemed to do was make you unhappy. Remember how you two argued about sharing it? Well, I suppose we did have a slight disagreement about it. I'll say. But I'll bet you could have had a lot of fun with it together. Fun? With him? N never But there is another way. It's called taking turns. Taking turns? But what's the use? Yeah, the doggone thing is broken. Oh, but if we had a whole concertina again, I'd gladly let you play it half the time, Sebastian. Barnaby, if we had a whole concertina again, I'd be only too happy to take turns with you. Well, it's not too late. Lionel! Here you go, boys. Ta-da! Your concertina is as good as new. This is too good to be true. Oh, boy. But, but who goes first? Here you go, fellas. Pick a straw. The longest straw goes first. Okie dokie, Barnaby. You go first. I go first. Oh, baby. Oh, I love to play my concertina. I love to sing a happy song. Now that I've got a concertina, I'll play and sing and sing and play upon my concertina all day long. When I was but a tiny little tot, I played the concertina quite a lot. To parties and dances it was brought, but I wouldn't play duets no matter what. Oh, I love to play my concertina. I love to sing a happy song now that I've got a concertina, I'll play and sing and sing and play upon my concertina all day long. That was wonderful. I guess taking turns is a good way to share a concertina and a lot of other things. You know, I never thought I'd say it, Barnaby, but you and I can make beautiful music together. <laughs> I hope you liked our story. And speaking of taking turns, now it's your turn to sing along, boys and girls. Ready, set, sing! A little dignified music, please. You've heard of one-man bands before. Well, they just make nice sounds. Now I'm a one-man band of clowns, the funniest band around. My humor's of such rarity, it's really quite a joke. When they measured my hilarity, the laugh-o-meter broke. 
So I can't tell you how much fun I am. But at least I do know what I'm funnier than. A barrel of monkeys more amusing than a carload of clowns. I can execute a prattle with the minimum of grace, and then pick up a custard pie and throw it in your face. And if I miss you, don't despair, I buy and buy the case. So I'm more fun than a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> I'm more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Get more giggles than a gaggle of goons. Since a trail of banana peels follows me. I've got a giant laser bay With laughing gas and fool's cap I compose my resume Oh, I'm more fun than a barrel of monkeys More fun than a bunch of buffoons More fun than a million doubloons More fun than a gaggle of loons More fun than a barrel of monkeys <laughs> That's me More fun than a box of balloons More fun than a can of cartoons, more fun than a gang of bamboos, more fun than a barrel of monkeys, oh, more fun than a barrel of monkeys, more fun, more fun, more fun than chimps, more fun than a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> oh boy, that was fun. And speaking of fun, it's time to start the sideshow. Yowza, yowza. Let's get the show on the road. First, get ready for the tongue list of Tatum. I mean, the lung list of what? I mean, <laughs> uh, Lily, the tongue twister lady. Thank you, Lionel. Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready for my personal favorite tongue twisters? We've been practicing, haven't we, Sal? Sure have, Al. Fire away, Lily. Yeah, you won't twist our tongues this time. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> that's wonderful. Let's start with a very small, teeny, tiny tongue twister. Six, selfish, shellfish. What? That's it? Three words? Boy, a piece of cake, a piece of cake. <laughs> Don't talk so fast, Al. Those short ones are the trickiest. Sal's right. This isn't easy, even if it's only three little words. Go ahead, try it. Six selfish shellfish. Six selfish shellfish. Six selfish shellfish. Ah, uh, listen to this, Lily. Six shellfish selfish. Six shellfish self <laughs> six. Uh, hey, what's going on? Hey, relax, Al. It's only three little words. Piece of cake, remember? Oh, yeah? Let's hear you do it. Six selfish shellfish. Six shellfish shellfish. <laughs> six shellfish shellfish shellfish. Well, I almost got it. Six selfish shellfish. Not as easy as it sounds, is it? How about you boys and girls at home? Have you tried to say it? Come on. Oh, what are you waiting for? Six selfish shellfish. Six selfish shellfish. Six selfish shellfish. Oh, that's very good. Say, Lily, uh, what is a shellfish anyway? Well, it just so happens I have a picture of a shellfish right here. They all live at the seashore. They're called shellfish because they all have hard shells. See, this is a clam. See his little shell? And it lives down below the sand. And this is a crab. See a shell? And he lives in the shallow water. And this great big one is a lobster. Well, now that I know what a shellfish is, give me another chance at that tongue twister, if you please. Well, surely, if you remember it. Listen to this. Six selfish shellfish. Six selfish shellfish. Six selfish shellfish. Six selfish shellfish. Oh, that's wonderful, shellfish. Al. Six selfish shellfish. Why, why, Al? Six selfish shellfish. Uh, Al? Six selfish oh, Al, shellfish. that's enough. Six selfish <laughs> well, now that he has it right, he can't stop. Oh, Al, Al, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, well, maybe if I got him a bag of popcorn, he'll be able to stop. Pop popcorn? Mm. Oh. Yowza, yowza, folks. Now, moving right along, get ready for those funny fellows, flip and flop. <laughs> Hello there, Flip. Hey, 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 Flip. Boy, am I hungry. Hungry? I thought you went out to eat. I did, but they threw me out of the restaurant. That is not very nice. 
Why did they throw you out of the restaurant? Because it's against the rules to read at the table. Did you really read at the table? No, I did not. But I was staring at my alphabet soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Well, you know, Flip, I have had a few problems in restaurants myself. I know. Why, only last week I was in a place where the food was so bad, I asked the waiter to call the manager. And did he call the manager? Uh, no. He said it wouldn't do any good. The manager wouldn't eat the food either. <laughs> restaurant yeah. that had such terrible food oh. i told them that i'd never go there again if there wasn't some change in their food and was there some change yes the next time i ate there i found some pennies in my soup <laughs> <laughs> then there were some nickels <laughs> dime. oh that's a good oh, one yeah. that's a good one yeah, too bad the meal wasn't a good one <laughs> You know, all this talk about food has made me hungry. Let's go eat. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. What have you got to eat at your place? Well, I have boiled tongue, fried liver, pig's feet. Yuck! Nick, forget about eating. Let's get you to a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, girls and boys, that's our show for today. Don't forget to come back for more fun when Dumbo Circus performs again. Bye-bye. <laughs>